Okay, here we are at Mount Hope Cemetery in Bangor, Maine. I'm standing at the spot where young Gage Creed was buried. Right here on the hillside. Right next to this tree that is seen in the film. All right about here. And just down the hill right there, as you see, Thomas C. Ferris's tomb is where the ghost of Victor Pascal appears. And also off in the distance there, the wrought iron gates where Lewis Creed parked his station wagon before climbing that fence. All right here. Mountain Hope Cemetery. Okay, and here I am, still standing in Mount Hope Cemetery, right about at the scene where Stephen King gave his, uh, played the, the uh, reverend, giving his speech in Pet Cemetery. Right about here, I just Googled and looked at the clip so I could match up the tombstones in the background to find pretty much the exact location, and that's right here. And also, just right up there, this is where Lewis Creed and Judd Creed had a conversation about the cat, where Judd told him that the cat was now his and not his daughter's. Happened right here in front of this big staircase going up. Mount Hope Cemetery, Bangor, Maine. Okay, now I'm in Ellsworth, Maine. And I believe this little wooded patch here, according to my uh, internet research, was the wooden area used as the uh, pet cemetery in the film Pet Cemetery. Of course, it's been 30, 31 years ago since it was filmed. It looks a lot different back here now. It's all grown up, all the props are gone. But the one remainder that gives away the clue that it's the one are these rocks stacked up. This was the deadfall in which Lewis and Judd had to climb. Well, as you see, there's still some, some rocks and telephone poles, I do believe are with some of the reinforcement to build the backfall. This is it. You see my next location here is Hancock, Maine. That's a beautiful home in which they filmed Pet Cemetery at, the Creed House. Somewhere over here was where the tire swing was, the little girl was on. Then down there was the path that led to the pet cemetery. So it's pretty interesting. And of course, the Cree, Judd Creed's house was actually a facade that they built in front of that beautiful home as well. Okay, giving you dash cam footage of the dash cam view of the Arenco truck. Out there is where they were having the picnic, and somewhere right about in here was where Gage was hit by the truck.